I hope you're not getting tired of all these videos I'm putting on YouTube. One nice thing about tying tomatoes on a steak while you're tying them, you can look at them. And that's what I'm doing today. It's the 4th of July, Thursday. My bride had to work today. There's a tomato hornworm in this. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to see if you can find it. Now, I went and got my camera because this is the first hornworm of the season. And it's a little bit early for one to be this big, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, I came back knowing it was on the second plant in a row, and it took me a while just to find him again. Can you see him? They really blend in. The sun on this lens, it is hard to know what you're filming. You see him? He's pretty good size for the this early. And they can't bite you, they can't hurt you. They will hang on to this thing. I wish I just had one hand, because he's got a whole lot of little feet. Somehow I'm going to get him off here. Whoops, and he spit all over me. Well, I don't have to step on him because I squeezed him getting off. He was so tender. Anyway, just thought y'all might want to see that. You will notice there's no damage to any of the leaves. So how did he get that big? Because they, uh, they laid the egg on the other side of the leaf and they're really tiny eggs. And the only thing I can see is he's eating part of this leaf. Now he didn't get that fat eating that part of the leaf, but if he got laid on the lower side end of this plant, he would have come up. And I don't see a lot of damage. Usually see the leaves eating. 